In this video, we'll take a look at the tasks and properties associated with them. If you don't see task properties windows active down there, you can activate it from Windows, Task Properties. Now let's click our first task and see what properties it has. In general properties, you can see its ID that was generated inside Synchro, the name of the task, a calendar associated with it, task type, and so on. I'd like to point out that Global Unique Identificator is not the same as in Microsoft Project, so keep it in mind. In Microsoft Project, if we insert grid column, it's clear that this Global Unique Identificator has been created inside the Synchron upon the import. For now, let's take a look at the calendar. Calendars can be found in Navigator tab, Scheduling, Calendars. Open it and let's add a new one. Make a right click over the blank space and choose Add. Let's name it as Test. We shall define our new calendar according to which Saturday will be a short working day. On the calendar grid, make a right click over a Saturday and choose Add Day Type. Let's name it as short day and create a time block from 10 to 14 and click OK. Now click over it once again, choose our short day type and choose every Saturday. Likewise, you can arrange your own calendar and define exceptions by right-clicking and choosing from the options. Now let's display the calendar that is associated with our tasks. The same way we were managing to add new columns to the resources we are doing for the tasks. So make a right-click and choose Customize Columns. In the search box, let's write Calendar and drag it on the right. And pull it up. Now we see that the standard calendar has been associated with all of the tasks. In order to define a new calendar for a specific task, you can click over its calendar and choose it from here. Or you can drag the calendar to the task and drop it over the task. If you select multiple activities and do the same drag and drop, the calendar will be assigned to all of them. Now let us go to the plan and reschedule our schedule. Let's also change duration of some tasks. For example, 25 days and drag it down. Click reschedule. Here you see that we've changed our schedule. So let's try to export it back to Microsoft Project. For that, click over the file, export, Microsoft Project XML. And let's name it from Synchron. Save it. Next, leave all command default. Just skip these errors and click finish. Now let's open our Microsoft project. Hide the column. Click over the file. Open. and find the XML file that we created from Synchro. Now we shall choose how we would like to import this file. As a new project, append the data to the active one or merge it with the active project. Logically, we should select the, th the third option. Even though the project has been synchronized with the Microsoft project, you will notice that calendars were not synchronized. For example, we defined the test calendar for our FN files. So let's check what calendar is it now. Double click over it. And you see that the calendar is standard. 
even though the test calendar has been brought to the Microsoft project from Synchro. Let us find out more about Synchro Microsoft project interoperability in the help section. Click over the help and choose search. Type in Microsoft project integration. Choose Microsoft project. Here we can see that Synchro developers do not suggest you to bring changes to both of the schedules. But if we decide to change calendar inside Microsoft project for all of the tasks, let's choose the test calendar and export it as XML file. Let's name it to Synchro. In the Synchro, go to the external data and let's synchronize from our schedule. Browse and choose to synchro. Now pay attention on the calendar values here. Once we synchronize it, our calendars have been synchronized. So if you are working with Microsoft Project, the best scenario would be developing your master project inside a Microsoft project, then export it to Synchro and then synchronize it in, inside the Synchro. Unfortunately, option Synchronize to is not open for Microsoft Project XML files. As a workaround, inside the Microsoft Project, you can create a user field and add the name of the calendar, like a parameter, to each of the tasks. So on import, you can filter out the tasks based on the calendar and assign a proper one and then export back to Synchro and synchronize it from. We will talk more about the progress, durations and constraints along with physical quantity dependencies in the further course of the lectures. As you remember, we created two user fields inside Microsoft Project, so these values came along with the file. All the links can be reviewed from the links panel the assigned resources field is empty now. We haven't assigned anything, nor any groups. And uh, we haven't specified the codes. All these things will be done in the course of the lectures.